All right, it is December 27th after the holiday. Um, excuse me if I uh, cough through this video. Going through a bad cold, seems like a sinus infection. Not sure if it's COVID. I haven't taken the test yet. I can't even find a test. <clears throat> but, you know, all congested in my throat and my nose. All right, let's check out some stocks. Um, S-O-F-I, SoFi. Take a look at this. SoFi Technologies, 12 billion market cap. Sales, 352 million, minus for. Four hundred uh, minus five hundred forty-eight million income. Let's see what else they got. Twenty-nine percent institutional ownership on the insiders and one percent big floats six hundred fifty-five million. So you know this is controlled by the main guys on Wall Street. This isn't a penny stock. What do they do exactly? Finance company operates online platform provides financial services. Student loans, personal loans, auto refinance, home loans, mortgage loans. <clears throat> Company offers Wi-Fi, SoFi weekly dividend e EFT. Uh, it was based in California, New York. Uh, incorporated at 2011 San Francisco. So I like the setup on this, on the chart. <clears throat> this came about December 2020. You can see it right here. And then, you know, very small candles, nothing much. Started to grind up January all the way to 14, 12. Look at this. And then, yeah, big drawdown and came back up. They pushed it down. It got as high as this candle, 2826. That is <coughs> the all-time high on that. And then look at this. Came back down, 14. Now, on these... Drops or like calling them a you know falling wedge. This isn't exactly a falling wedge because bouncing back and forth, but it did come out of that. See right here in May, and it bounced up hard past 24 plus. So on this, you to move up, down, move up. I draw a circle here. Yeah, there you get a move. Uh, right here and right here. So there's the high, You're coming up, bounce down, come up, and then in July this came down, you know, very hard, bounced up to 17, then a gap down, found this 14 just below, and bounced up again to about that 24-ish level, and then here we are again. It came back down, and look where we're at now, 1537. So the low in this, you know, exactly doesn't have to be exact, 1368. At a 14 level, looks like you're low. You can see this move up, down, up, down, up, and we should get another up move. <clears throat> and as far as the volume, heavy volume right here, last about six months. Do some order. Hey, you can see right up here. Look at this, um, the tops here. Where we're at now, 42. So you want to play this all the way up to, you know, 80 plus oversold. But to me, if you got it down here, one of these moves down here was at 14. You know, you're sitting pretty good right now. So the next move on this, you know, I'm looking for eventually, I think we can get back up, back up to at least 20, 24 zone. Yeah, a longer term swing here. It's done this three times. Why wouldn't this do this again? Um, is very good potential here. <clears throat> Coming out of right now, look at this. Green candles, sideways. Weekly. <coughs> this is a better look in the weekly. Look at this. Move up, come down, move up, come down, move up. And look at this. White over red on stochastics. White over red stochastics. Didn't reach above 80 exactly, but you can get the picture here. Down up and look right here. The crossover 1265 on stochastics. This is a way to go to come back up here. You're buying low. Buy here, no. Buy here, no. Buy here, yes. A little bit tougher. Right here, yes. And right here, yes. You have two candles on the weekly after one, two, three, four, five red candles. So that's looking very strong on the monthly. 
not much because it's a newer stock. It's not showing that much. <clears throat> so this is um, where you have it here. Just pure technical, how they're running it. And yeah, your stop here is pretty much at 14, maybe just below that 14 level on a swing here on SoFi. <coughs> Excuse me. Just reading through a lot of people in stock books talking about this. The room is running you know, very fast, the news. I mean, not the news, the uh, ticker for SoFi. People are talking about it a lot. So that, that's where I have it right now. I'm looking for a move up here. You know, technically it's looking good there. The weekly is looking even better. <clears throat> when you have a weekly stock like this, you know, the chance of it going lower, yes. Depends, it's, the, the trend's down, but it can bounce. This is look like a typical W pattern, channel pattern up, down, up. And it's in this like range back and forth. Each stock is different. You know, they'll have patterns and Clearly looks like the pattern there on SoFi. Let me take this out. And there you have it. So yeah, I'll keep your stop right here if you're swinging it. You know, let this run up. This makes big moves. I'm talking big moves. What's the move here? 14. 14 to 24, you know, over $10, $10 to $12 moves on this. So that's where we're looking for at this point on SoFi. All right, so check it out. Pretty easy chart to look at and determine, you know, what's the next move on this on the swing. And we'll see what happens in this. We'll check back and try to update on this. That's it. Please subscribe to Mike Team and Trade Alert. Smash the like button. Check out the links below. TC2000, like an affiliate, and um, trust them. It's a VPN to protect your computer and all the other links, social media. Check it out. Peace for now.